Hey guys, I just wanted to do a little intro for this video. Um, this, in this video, I went to the Eastern Market with my dad. Um, it was kind of hard to film. There was a lot of people, um, and I intentionally, or I had the intention of going there to talk with some of the farmers, but we ended up going on a tour instead to get more information. Um, so the first picture on there, I just wanted to tell you guys, go through some of those really quick, um, is a little food truck style coffee shop. And then the second picture on there is an information booth. It has some information about um, bridge cards. And then the third picture is um, a map of the market. And it lists some different things going on there. Um, and then there's a little bit further into the video. I show some of the foods that were there. They were all pretty similar. I'm thinking, obviously, they were the ones in season. Um... But there was different like packaging styles. Um, some were in baskets, some were in plastic bags, some were in big bags. Um, and then there's later on a picture of uh, a booth of mushrooms. I thought that was kind of cool, so I took a picture of that. Um, and then at the very end, my dad and I ended up buying some food items um, for us to take home. So I kind of go through that and show you guys what we got. So I also wanted to mention um, on the tour, the tour ended up, it was very much about the history of the market, which was very cool. Um, in the beginning, they talked about the community around the market, so I wanted to tell you guys a little bit about that. Um, so every Tuesday, they have free yoga and free Zumba um, in, in one of the sheds at the market. Um, Thursday nights, that's more of like the art, music sort of night. And then Sunday is crafts. Um, and then the tour guide also did mention that there is a wholesale market mm -hmm. for um, available for restaurants. It's from midnight to 6 a.m. I'm unsure if there's a specific day or if that's every day. Um, but that's for them to come and participate in the farmer's market and get produce from the farmers. So after talking about the community surrounding the market, I just wanted to sort of hone in on some of that. So if there already isn't like enough community going on within community farming, um, it just adds a whole nother or a, another component to um, just feeling a sense of community, um, being a part of something bigger, making a profit during what you do, um, and getting to know the people that are like you and have farms just like you um, and make a profit on that as well. Um, so I just wanted to mention that too.